Okay, guys, next up, we're doing our sweep or die dilemma. If you're going to become a guillotine master, you must understand the sweep or die dilemma. I'm here like this. I have the guillotine. We talked about all the details, getting the hands high, getting the legs high, protecting our choking arm. But our partner beat us to it all. He stacked us. He grabbed our kill, kill side. My right hand is the kill arm. He grabbed that right wrist. Now I want to sweep him. You'll notice Neil is leaning to his right side, the side of his trapped arm. That's a real easy thing now for me to sweep him. Okay, like we saw earlier, our partner made a mistake. We swept him to the side. He's trapped. That's real easy. Okay, but when you have a more skilled opponent, he's not going to lean to the trapped side. Okay, when you grab that neck, he's not only going to stack you, he's going to lean away from the trapped side. Now Neil's weight is on his left side. Okay, now if I try to sweep him to my left, it won't work. Even more, he can connect his left knee and left elbow. I can't even pummel my hook. Look, he's blocking me from pummeling my hook. Neil knows exactly what my game plan is. He knows I want to choke him or sweep him to the trap side. When you find yourself in this situation, just pummel your left hook in. Look, I pummel my left hook in and I sweep him to the open side. You see Neil chose to base. Because I have no control over his left arm, he can release my wrist and just base. And you can see he's stopping my sweep. But by doing that, he's released my right wrist. Notice how my right leg is going to climb up and block my right wrist. My kill arm now is defended. If Neil comes back to try to defend against my wrist, he can't find my wrist. Okay, the kill arm now is uninterrupted. I have an un uninterrupted squeeze on his neck. From here, I'm going to apply pressure, bend the neck, just like we talked about earlier in the video. From here, I'm going to get a full tap here. It's going to be very difficult for him to stop. If Neil has the space to defend against my wrist and he's leaning away from the trap side, Neil's trapped arm is this one right here. Okay? I can't sweep him this direction. I'm going to sweep him to the open side. Now, Neil, if Neil chooses to hang on to my wrist, he's going to sweep himself. Okay? He chose to hang on to the wrist. Why would he choose to hang on to the wrist? He feels that the pressure is really tight. He doesn't want to get a risk of getting tapped out. So he chooses to alleviate the pressure, but he gets swept. He has a dilemma now. He either bases and allows me to choke him, or he maintains that wrist. If he maintains that wrist, I will sweep him over. Okay, that's the dilemma. That's a sweep or die dilemma. A good guillotiner gives his opponent two poisons to choose from. Okay, I'm here like this. I'm trying to get that guillotine. He's grabbing my kill arm. My right arm is blocked. Guys, I cannot sweep him to my left. I must sweep him to my right. I start sweeping him to my right. Neil chose to base. If he chose to base, I'm going to bring my right knee to my right elbow and block his ability now to defend against the wrist. Now I'm gonna go back to choking my partner out. He's gonna tap here. If he's on my wrist, and I, he chooses to stay on my wrist, notice how I elevate his right side and my leg slightly slides down towards his knee and I chop his knee. My left leg is elevating his right side and my right leg is pulling in his left side. And I get a, I'm gonna get a sweep. From here I'm gonna base on my head, mount his hips and finish the choke. Guys, we're putting our partner, can you come on this side? In a sweep or die dilemma. He either bases and gives me the choke or he maintains that wrist control. Neil grabs my right hand. That's the kill arm. That's the arm I'm trying to choke him with. He shifts his weight. He doesn't allow me to sweep him towards the trap side. Guess what? I'm pummeling. I'm sweeping my partner towards the side he's defending against my wrist and I get on top. Let's see one last time. This direction here. I have my partner in a guillotine. He's stacking, he's trapping my wrist. He's shifting his weight away from the trap side. I pummel my hook in, I start to sweep. If Neil bases, I wrap my legs up around his neck and finish that choke, okay? Guys, you must understand this dilemma. Think about it, drill it, focus on it when you're rolling. A lot of people, guys, a lot of people just keep squeezing and squeezing. It's useless. Put him in a dilemma, sweep him or choke him. Sweep him or choke him. He has to choose one. Let's give it a try.